regarding uh, the character of Roland, I yeah. mean, the theme of leaving home and leaving behind loved ones and uh-huh. kind of going off to war is still very pertinent today. But was it quite difficult, uh, a difficult theme for you to connect to? And did you meet any sort of soldiers, anyone who has to go through that to try and help get into the head of the role? I uh, Yeah, it's not something I can naturally connect with. I, I, I'm, other than going off to, for months and then to do movies, which is not the same thing. Um, I don't I don't know what it's like to go off to war. I, have, um, I come from an area in, in Worcestershire and have friends who are soldiers, so... I could ask them and talk to them, and I, I have some experience from them of their experiences. But yeah, it's um, it's something luckily I have not had to do or face. Um, but I had to imagine as being an actor, I would. I mean, though he's, uh, Roland is a real person, did you feel some sort of artistic license with him? Because the character we see is someone else's perception of him. It's not written from his perspective at all. So did you feel you were able to kind of craft a, your own character and your own kind of... I don't know, make him very much her own rather than what was sort of written down on the page. Yeah, I think I trusted very much in Juliet. She'd done a huge amount of research into the letters that he wrote and, and, and Vera's book and had written someone, when I did my research in reading those things, that I felt was very accurate to the person on those pages. So there was that trust between writer and actor, I think, and, and then you have to take your own stance on it and, and create someone that you think is accurate to those that source material. But it helped having all of those, you know, that insight into his head and and, and how he thought th- through his letters and how he spoke. You know, I, that, I pretty much took it from that. I mean, it is, it is the, I mean, regardless of that, this is the first time you have played a real person, I think. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was, it's a quite a scary proposition. Do you, do you have to approach a role any differently to how you would if it was a fictional creation? No, other than, uh, other than I have more research to go by. I, um, I think... The, the, I wonder whether it would be daunting to try and do someone's memory justice, but it wasn't actually, it just felt kind of, it was just, it was really nice to, to play someone who had existed and, and, and to try and imagine what they had been through, as difficult as that may be. And I read that you, you said that you studied Testament of Youth at school. Mm. Uh, how much of that did you remember? Did you, was, it, was it quite nice having that as a kind of background knowledge to, before approaching this role? Yeah, it, I mean, usually when approaching, if I knew nothing about the First World War, I would have come into this trying to do all my research about trenches and about the battles and, where, you know, and, 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 and what, what World War, the First World War life would have, would have been like. But I, I kind of, my first job was was War Horse, of which I had to do tons of that research anyway. I studied this book at school, I studied the war poets, I've been to the war graves in northern France. I came to it with, with what I thought was quite a good knowledge of, of the period. So for me, I wanted to just concentrate on the character and, and who he was. I didn't, I didn't want to get bogged down with the research of the war. But I mean, you have gone on record uh, to say that you're not one for patriotism. Uh, <clears throat> yes. And I was wondering, in the context of this story, you're able to kind of appreciate it was such a sort of vital component of people like Roland kind of standing up and... Yeah, to him, believe in, yeah. to him, patriotism was 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 uh, incredibly important. Uh, you know, God, King, and country, and, and heroism, and fighting for 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 Great Britain. And it, it, to him, it was it was very important. But what I wanted to get at, even if it's not explicitly said, was how that breaks down in him, how he loses that as it goes on, like it did for so many young soldiers out there. And and personally, for me, I'm um, you know. I love I love my country. I love living here, but I don't believe in in really living my life by that. I think it's it's it can it can restrict it can restrict one's mind a bit. Um, you're obviously change of pace a little. You're contractually obliged to obviously have long hair for Game of Thrones. Yes. As I'm assuming this is a, a wig, or did it grow very quickly? This was a wig. Yeah. yeah this was a wig um, uh, because we were we were filming quite close to Thrones, and there wasn't. A <clears throat> It wasn't the opportunity of, of having it cut, so I, I, I had, to have, had to be wigged up. Of course, the new season of Game of Thrones isn't too far away now. No. Uh, we're sort of into new territories. I think the season sort of deals with issues that aren't necessarily written in the books. It kind of goes beyond that slightly. Mm. Uh, how, how far do we, can we expect to see Jon Snow's journey go? I can't tell you, and, and this year was very secretive, um, more secretive than any season prior, um, because we there are bits not in the books now, there are bits that are in the books. It, it's always been a bit like that, but this season especially, there's there's some stuff which hasn't been written down. Um, but I can't tell you how far John's story goes. But I spoke to Sophie Turner about the, the yes. new season. She said uh, she thinks this is the darkest 
a Game of Thrones series yet. Would you? Is that a sentiment you'd agree with? There's elements of it which are much darker than anything we've done. Yeah, I think it. it if you look at it as a as a typical sort of narrative, um, this is this is the climax where everything is going wrong, and before hopefully it gets better. But this is this is like the worst it's been, and and for so many characters. And so just finally, very quickly, uh, very excited about the death and life of John F. Donovan as well. Yeah. So if you could tell us a little bit about that one, because that's, uh, is that coming out this year? Yeah, that's, uh, that, no, we're, we're going we're gonna to film that a little, a little while from now. That'll be filmed in early 2016. Um, that's the plan. And it's an amazing script with an incredible cast attached already. And, and I'm, I'm very excited about it. It's a, it's a chance, again, to play a character I've not really... Um, investigated ever and, and other than that I, I wouldn't want to say any more about it, it but it's 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 truly brilliant I'm working with Jessica Chastain yeah yeah, yeah. excited about that could be worse <laughs> could be worse brilliant well thank you so much for your time today thank much you. appreciated Take care. ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies it is indeed, yeah. nice hey you guys